So your post TME score is so important. That's why you need to prepare for universe post TME as though your life depends on it because it really does. I don't care what you have scored in jam, forget about it. If you scored very high in jam, forget about it. If you scored very low in jam, forget about it. As long as you scored enough to, to take you to the universe post TME, then it's fine. You scored above 200, that's why you're even watching this video because uh, Uniben takes 200 and above, right? Now let's take let me show you the, the, how they how they get the aggregate. Remember that for you to be considered into Uniben at all for admission, you have to have scored what fifty percent. So your aggregate should be fifty for you to get admission into Uniben. Now let me show you something. How did they arrive at the Uniben aggregate? It's a, combi a combination of your jam score and your post TME score. Your jam score is divided by eight, and your post TME score is divided by what two. Now let's come here. Let's take a this candidate, candidate A, this candidate scored 250 in jam. You consider that an average score, right? Divided by 8, you get 31.25. Now, in the Uniben post TME, this candidate scored 60. If you divide 60 by 2, you are getting 30. Now, I told you before that your aggregate is basically your jam score and your post TME score for Uniben. Now, this candidate's aggregate is 61.25 if we look at these two combinations, right? Let's take candidate B. If you can come closer a bit, candidate B has a jam score of 200. This person did not score high in jam. So if this is you, you are saying I didn't score high in jam, I didn't score high in jam. That's, that's all nonsense. Don't worry about your jam score. Even if you score 201, 210, 220, don't worry about it. Because if you take a candidate that scored 200 in jam, divide that by 8, he got 25. Now, this person now prepared very well, and it's possible to get 19 Uniben post UME. It's not hard, you know. All you need to do if you want to get high score in Uniben post UTME, you know, I, yeah, I've, said, I've said a couple of them before, but one of them you need to do is don't start with comprehension and don't start with calculation questions. Answer the ones that you can answer that are easy first before you come back to the ones that are a bit, bit maybe challenging, right? So this candidate now scored 80 in post UME. Now, if you divide 80 by 2, you got what 40. This candidate's aggregate is 65. Now take another candidate that scored very high. And then you know so, some you know it's really bad when some people score very high in jam and then they are overconfident. I'm not saying overconfidence is bad, I'm saying overconfidence to the point where you think you don't need to read. Practice doesn't make perfect to me. Practice makes improvements. You can always better your best. So don't ever get to the point where you say, I, I don't need to be ready. I don't need to, I'm, 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 I'm just, I, I just know what I'm going to write. No, prepare, even if you have scored so high in jam. This candidate scored 315 in jam. So high. This is an, this, um, these are all examples. Now divide 350 by 8. You got 43.75. Now this candidate now scored low in post because of, he, he, he didn't prepare. Divide this one by two, you got 12.5. This candidate is 56.25 because this is the aggregate is low. Because despite the high jam score, the post UME score is low. What helps people to gain admission into Uniben is not just your high jam score. The most important factor, aside the fact that God is there, right, is your post UME score. Your post UME score is so important. So, prepare for post TME as though your life depends on it, because it does, right? And in Uniben's post TME, English actually carries the highest questions and also carries the highest mark, right? So, that's one thing you need to note, first of all, you know. And um, last year, it was 50 questions in total that was set for Uniben post TME. So, we had 50 questions to answer in one hour. And out of those 50 questions, 15 of them was, uh, you know, questions from English language. And the other 35 were questions that were grouped as like general questions, right? Um, and it will comprise of the, the subjects that you wrote in JAM. So regardless of your department, the subject you wrote in JAM forms, you know, the other part of the questions that you're expected to answer in Uniben's post TME, right? But the year before last year and then the previous years, it used to be 90 questions uh, that you will answer in Uniben's post TME for the same one hour, right? Um, so that 90 questions, 40 of those questions were from English language and then 50 of the questions were just grouped as the general uh, uh, paper, which comprised also of the subjects that you wrote in JAM. So from these two analyses, you've seen that last year we had 50 questions 
Christians. And then the years before last year, we had 90 Christians in Unibans post UTM. But the time is still the same. It's one hour uh, for you to answer those questions, right? So it's important to understand the timing when it comes to Unibans uh, post UTM. Have you uploaded your O-level result? Because Uniben has said that if you don't upload your O-level result, I mean, no matter what you get in the post you can't get admission. So check that you've uploaded your O-level result. Go to the JAM CBT Center to confirm that your O-level result has been uploaded to your JAM CAPS. The next thing you need to take note of is your post aggregate. I will explain this in detail, right? Another thing you need to take note of is what strategy and your mindset. Do you have a strategy for post UTME? I mean, I have, I have an entire video on strategy. I have an entire video of how to pass post UTME. Probably I'll link that at the end of this video so that you can watch it. Now, another thing you need to take note of is your course of choice. You know, a couple of people make the mistake of putting two competitive courses when they are registering for post UTME. They think it gives them a chance. It doesn't one competitive course is enough then your second choice of course should be something that is less competitive maybe something in the education space i'll put a list of all the courses that are less competitive in uniband i'll put it in the description or in the comment section so that basically you can look at it and start. because this year you have to start it's about getting admission you know you can it's better to be in school and then maybe you say well i didn't get my desired course but at least i got something in that field right than to be at home writing jam how many times so this is going to be your last post ctme i don't care how many times you have written it if it's your first time it's your last time if it's not your first time it's also your last time right it's, it's the last time you ever write this exam called post ctme as it relates to uniben now the last thing you need to take note of is admission quota for admission quota 45 percent of every admission is always given on merit 35 percent of every admission in Uniben is given based on catchment area, right? While less than 10% or 10% of the admission uh, basically is given based on educationally less developed states. What that means is that somebody from Kaduna might stand a higher chance or somebody from Castina might stand a higher chance because um, Jam is saying that they, those people maybe they don't go to school as much, right? So merit, catchment area and Educationally less developed states. These are some of the things that you look at when you're talking about admission into University of Benin. What if I told you that you don't need to know anybody and Unibest post UTM is not as hard as people make it seem, right? So, so if you're writing, you know, for the sciences, you're expecting questions, like if you're writing for medical sciences and life sciences, you're expecting questions from biology, from chemistry, and from physics, right? Um, in addition to English, right? Like I said, current affairs may come out, so just get yourself, you know, prepared for that. Last year, it didn't come out at all. Uh, but if it does come out this year, it will be like five questions, uh, you know, in general. Now, for the people writing for engineering, um, engineering, you're expecting math, physics, and chemistry in addition to English, you know? And the, those writing for the arts, you know, you're expecting uh, questions from, you know, government, literature, CRS, and then, you know, other commercial, you're expecting just the subjects you wrote in JAM, you know, in addition to English. Uh, basically, that's what you should be expecting for universe post 2 TME. Now, so the common belief people always have uh, when it comes to admission for Uniband. Um, is the fact that I must know somebody, I must have connections, I must pay somebody to help me. I sincerely want you to dislodge that belief from your mind because you really must not know anybody to get admission into Uniben. But one, one mistake people make every single year is that Uniben gives you a chance when you are registering for post UTM to put two courses. Huh? You know, they give you a chance to put first, uh, first choice of course and then second choice of course. I see some people put the same course. I've said this times and times again one way to get admission into uniben is the fact that even if you're and then look at consider your jam score you know obviously you have to have above 200 to write in the best post to me but also look at your jam score right um as you choose your courses you know if you and, and the competitiveness of the the course you're about to choose so i always advise people and, and i'm advising you if the university has given you, when during your registration, a chance to put two courses. One of the course can be your main course. The other course can be a course that is less competitive. You know, there's, there's something I always say to you. If you're preparing for post UTME, one of the easiest ways to prepare is to take exams every single day. 
studying for patterns and studying for um, the structure. Although I have a full video on this, right? You know, study for patterns, study for structure. Every single day, don't sleep without taking an exam for yourself. You see, practice, practice, practice. The easiest way to remember anything or to pass any exam is to practice, practice, practice. You know, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes improvement. You know, I like that song that says, good, better, best. I will never rest until my good is better and my better best. So you need to practice using the, the, the questions you get from your English language. You know, that's your new school English and then your the English language textbook you also use for work. Like when you go to your jam, um, when you go to your jam, uh, the jam recommended textbook, that English language that they recommended there and your recommended textbook also, the English language that they recommended there for English and all those other subjects, use those uh, 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 textbooks to read. If you don't have them, then read using uh, your past question as a guide. So practice questions from textbooks, practice questions from the recommended textbooks so from, for JAM or YEC. Practice questions from uh, past questions every day, every day. The one you don't, the one you failed, it's okay. Look at it again and mark it again and then you will get it. So practice, practice, practice. When you have a short time to prepare for any exam, then practice daily. Practice daily using exam situations so set exam for yourself every day and write them ah some things you need to take when you're going i see some people take a lot of things that are not necessary if you're going for uniben post utme all you need to take is your acknowledgement sleep when you register for post utme now you know you have a sleep you print that sleep out it's called your acknowledgement sleep the next sleep you will take is your exam sleep that shows your date your time and your venue these are the two sleeps you would need for universe post UTME. Don't take your birth certificate there. Don't take your don't, don't take anything. This two sleeps, that's all. You maybe take a pencil and a biro. That's all you need. Do, do you get my point? You don't even need a passport when you are coming to write universe post UTME. I'm just telling you the truth. Now, if you take a passport there or take every other unnecessary document there, you end up leaving them outside, right? So if you got to this part of the video, I want you to drop a comment and just claim that energy with me. Uniben, my own matric is sure. I mean, that's what I want you to write there. Claim that energy by putting that comment there right now. Just, just post this video and just write on the comment section, right? You know, we always claim energies, you know, on, on the Students' Corner channel. Uniben, comma, my own matric is sure. Write that in the comment section and claim the energy as we go along. So some dates you need to take note of if you're writing Uniben post UTM. I mean, over 81,000 people write this exam every single year and 20% of those people get admission, right? Uh, but that's not you. You are getting admission into school this year. Now, 21st of October, that's when the registration will end. Please don't wait till the deadline, uh, you know, till before you register. I mean, I think to register is about 2,000 Naira, 2,500 Naira. Go to the Kofa page. I put the link there uh, in the description and I'll also put the link to register in my comment section so that you can basically click on it and register right 8th of november is when you're supposed to go back for reprint so you have to reprint to know your specific date and your venue for this exam now 14th to 24th of november is when the university of benin's post utme for 2022 academic session will take place right and it always takes place um, in the Uboa campus of university of benin it's a computer based exam and basically you want to prepare yourself for that familiarizing yourself with this exam helps you score better so there's an exact format on how to pass post utm right you know if if you don't know that format it will be hard for you so Click on this video, and in this video, I talked about the format to pass post UTME. So click on this video that I showed on my end screen now to watch and then learn how to pass post UTME and how to get that desired admission that you want. Like, share, and subscribe if you got value from this video. I'll see you again on another video. Bye.